Not all toothpastes are created equal, and in today's short video, I want to give you some advice on what types of toothpastes to avoid. Well, hello again, folks, and welcome back to another Dentistry Made Simple video. My name is Dr. Kenneth Goods, and I'm a retired dentist from the state of South Carolina here in the U.S. So today's video is not going to be a very long one, but it is a very important subject that we all need to hear. Go into the oral care aisle of your local drugstore or grocery store and take a look at all the toothpaste that are available. The choices are overwhelming. You might be tempted to think that they're all the same, maybe just some different flavoring. Not true. So today, let's look at three categories of toothpaste that you should use with caution or not at all. Toothpaste type number one, those that are too abrasive. Abrasive toothpastes work like sandpaper on the enamel of your teeth. They'll make claims that they can remove surface stains from your teeth like tobacco or wine stains, and they will by actually stripping away some of your enamel. Lose too much enamel, and not only will they become more sensitive, but the teeth will start looking more yellow, the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve. You're better off using a gentler toothpaste and a soft bristled brush. Toothpaste type number two, those that claim to whiten. Almost everyone wants whiter teeth, so what better way than a whitening toothpaste? No? Not so fast. These whitening toothpastes do in fact remove surface stains like coffee, tea, and tobacco, but they function just like toothpaste number one I talked about, by being abrasive. So if you really want to use one, limit yourself to once or twice a week only. Deal? And last up is toothpaste number three, those without fluoride. Now these kind of toothpastes are actually kind of hard to find since fluoride is so widely recommended in helping prevent cavities and such. However, your dentist or hygienist might say it's okay if you have no issues with cavities and the pH of your mouth is ideal. But for the overwhelming majority of us out there, fluoride is the way to go. Okay, doc, I'm convinced, but how can I tell if my toothpaste is one of these categories or not? Well, I'm glad you asked. All toothpaste packaging will clearly state if fluoride is present, but the abrasiveness is much harder to determine. So I've included a PDF document in the description below listing many of the toothpastes available today with their corresponding abrasiveness. Try to avoid those listed in the pinkish zone and gravitate to those listed in blue. Fair enough? As always, if you have any questions, be sure to ask your dentist or hygienist for help. Well, let's wrap up today's video, folks. I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. If you enjoyed this video, would you do me the favor of hitting that like button below as it will help this channel grow? Feel free to leave a comment or question as well. Please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos on dentistry made simple. Bye-bye.